Okay, it's a 1981 GL500 Interstate model Silverwing. Very nice bike. When I got it, the timing chain was starting to make a little noise, and the mechanical water pump seal was leaking, and a couple of oil seals that were leaking. So I went ahead and I replaced the timing chain, all the oil seals, and the mechanical pump seal. Carburetors were a little dirty, so I, would go, I always go through those anyway. I go in and I raise the needles, I shim the needles, and I jet them up just a hair, get them a little bit richer. Makes them run a lot better in the mid-range. And the gas tank was a little dirty and a couple of dings in it, so I found this really nice gas tank off a guy in Michigan on eBay, so it's like, it was like a brand new tank. But it's got a really nice set of matching Dunlop tires on it. Front and rear. It's got this really nice set of aftermarket exhaust pipes on it. They look like the replica mufflers for the CX500s. Maybe the David Silver Spares. I can't find any name on them. Boy, they sound really good. They seem to make it a little extra horsepower also. We'll go ahead and start it up here. Very responsive. That's what raising the needles and getting them up a little bit does. You're not going to find a better runner 500. That's what I ride for my own personal bike. I have an 82 GL 500, so I just love this machine. So I just do this for a hobby. I bring him back to life. Find him a new home. Anyway, it's got a brand new AGM battery also.